What's got two thumbs and is playing Isaac? This guy. It's an Isaac run. It's a daily run. Yesterday's was fine. I'm still playing with the controller. I tried to have a day of not having a huge plaster on my finger that didn't really go down too well. It turns out that your index finger on your left hand takes a considerable amount of hits during the day. Just sort of, you know, day to day walking into things being a complete klutz. So I have decided to maintain this padding that is ruining my ability to play the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth with my preferred control mechanism, but nevertheless, here we are. Yesterday's run, the Maggie run, I mean, I did okay. Didn't I? I think I did. I mean, I, I know I did, but I mean, I'm seeking your approval. I... We should probably blow these up, right? Which one is it? That one. There we go. We won. So it's, it's hard to suggest that maybe we did badly, but... I still feel like I could have done better if I was using the keyboard and mouse. Maybe not. Well, not keyboard and mouse. Who uses the mouse for Isaac? It is an option. Uh, but we're going to try this Isaac run. I'm going to wander around till I find the Isaac some room because I want to give it a re-roll and then maybe... Well, maybe give it a re-roll. We also might want to see if we want to re-roll what the boss gives us. Um, we do have that battery charge knocking around, so I'm thinking we've got quite a good opportunity to get something that really... Oh, help. Fuck. That really uh, sets the game off on a good start um, by a judicious application of our rerolls where possible. Although if I could actually find the item room, that would be swell. <clears throat> the fact we got Curse of the Lost, of course, means that we're not going to have Curse of the Blind at the same time, which means that we're going to be able to see what we're picking up or decide whether to re-roll it. And we're only going as far as Mom's heart, so we're going to also want to look for a way down uh, through that final oh. <laughs> through that floor into at least one more floor afterwards, if possible. I was hoping that would get more than one of them. More for efficiency purposes than, <clears throat> than my uh, sanity purposes. I'm pretty sure I can cope with this room, despite the fact I'm using the controller. It is... Yes, I will take Deadeye. Um, it does incentivize not sucking at the game, but I can do that if I take care. I'm not quite sure how it works in terms of missing. I think you have to miss a few times. <coughs> oh, do it, excuse me. I think you have to miss a few times before it actually starts complaining at you for having uh, missed and therefore taken away your damage bonus. Also, I think we should probably... Uh, I think Tinted Rocks are more important than Secret Rooms. Yes, they are. Because that one contained the Small Rock, which I was going to say. Hopefully this one contains the Small Rock, but didn't want to jinx it. Wasn't going to jinx it. We're going to get a cube of meat, which is interesting. And we're not going to get a deal with the devil, of course, because deals with the devil stone don't start until the next floor. I I think cube of meat is really... Ow, that's really dumb. <sighs> Do we want that? Not really. Why did I re-roll uh, ball of bandages there? Well, I'll take this. Reason being, it's spirit heart, and I have taken some silly damage, so... I'm going to continue to blame the controller, because it's going to continue to be the controller's fault, but I feel like I could have done better just in general on that floor, despite the controller, so can't put uh, can't put all the blame on the controller, but it is, it's a handicap. Uh, it's just not an excuse, if that makes sense. So I took Binky, because I think it's a small speed upgrade, which I'm basically counting on. I feel slightly faster. We'll go in here and use the full card, but also it gives us a spirit heart, and I've used up enough spirit hearts on the previous floor to be concerned by our, our um, ability to do anything with that. So, I might as well use the two of diamonds, because we want to get out of here for free, which is kind of annoying, because that's the sort of curse room you'd like to leave, but I don't want to spend the money on doing so. Well, I don't want to spend the HP on doing so. Our DPS is outrageous now. Small Rock and Deadeye. I mean, even when we don't have the Deadeye bonus, it is pretty good. But when the Deadeye bonus comes into play, it's outrageous. Where's our Spirit Hearts over here, I expect? Yes. We should get this key, though. I was kind of hoping that the uh, fires would go away before I attempted to get them, which is exactly what happened. Yeah, we're definitely faster, so I think he might have been a good idea. We'll reroll Butt Bombs into some shit. <sighs> Probably should have taken Butt Bombs. I mean, when you've got D6, you sort of... You aim for good, don't you? You aim for excellence. Because you have the opportunity. But at the same time... Sometimes you want to say, yeah, that's good enough. And I have yet to do so. We have a bomb. We could try and see if... Uh, the 
secret room is near the cursed room. If it is, we might be able to get some value out of uh, the high priestess that's still in there. If we can get another another one. Jesus Juice is actually a fine pickup. The damage is good. We might as well. I think I'm going to take both of these as well. The damage from Jesus Juice is fine. Ooh. Ooh. Very excellent. We're going to take this for the guppy thingy. And we're going to take black powder because as we get more speed upgrades, that's actually going to be useful for us. Uh, it is entirely possible that it's right here. So we'll put this here. It was. More bombs? No more bombs. We do get a reroll. Early on, I mean, picking up the battery charge there is certainly not going to help us on this floor. And I wouldn't have re-rolled the deal with the devil I expect, even if I wanted to. And I kind of feel like I'm I'm happy to have been forced to take Jesus Juice. Because if I'd re-rolled it into something shit, I would have been salty. Whereas the yet more damage upgrade uh, on top of Deadeye... It's something that I can be happy with, even though you know I didn't get the opportunity to re-roll it. I'm saying I'm, I'm happy that I... I probably would have re-rolled it, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but I'm glad that I didn't, because I couldn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Infamy is also fine. We picked up um, Gimpy and Infamy, which are two very good defensive items. Especially this early on. We can start using Gimpy to get spirit hearts out of things like... Um, Blood banks and demon judgments. In fact, I probably should have picked up. Well, actually, the demon judgment gave us Gimpy, so what I was about to say would make no sense, which was going to have been. Look at all these red hearts as well. I was going to say we should have picked up Gimpy uh, once we'd spent HP on the demon judgment, but of course we couldn't. Just, just to give us a small opportunity to. Um, get a payout from Gimpy as a result of the Demon Judgment, but we can't, but maybe we'll find more. This is not an arcade possible floor, but there will be another floor with an option for an arcade on it, and that could give us several Spirit Hearts. We're doing so much damage that I really don't have to worry about the fact that I'm using a controller right now. And we can go back and re-roll whatever was in the item room. We re-rolled... Uh, ooh... The, the original book that we re-rolled was pretty trash. It was uh, Telepathy for Dummies. That just gives you the magician. It gives you homing shots on every room that you use it on, but it's a two-room charge. That's right. We got... Um, ooh. The soul is great because it's a couple more spirit hearts as well as the fact that we now deflect bullets. Um, look, I mean, I can't even walk in a straight line. The Telepathy for Dummies is not that great. Oh, I might as well pick this up now. And... Epic Fetus is okay. Sorry, Dr. Fetus is okay. I mean, it's not something I'm going to be writing home about. But it is, it's takeable. But I feel when we've got a, a D6 run and the opportunity to actually use the D6 to some effect, we should probably make the best of it where we can. Let's see what's in here. We might want to reroll this. I do not want to reroll this. This is excellent. This is basically one as the run. More of the void is three seconds of firing and then let go and you stop creating black hearts. Uh, I will actually go to the curse room. We have a joker card, so on the first floor where we don't get a deal with the devil, which could easily be the next floor, we can use the joker card to force that deal with the devil, but we probably want to hold off on that until we are at least in a position where we can feel happy about taking that deal with the devil. Uh, maybe Hookworm is not the greatest of ideas right now. Um, because if we only have spirit hearts backing us up, Excuse me. Good. If we only have spirit hearts backing us up, it's going to cost three spirit hearts. We have to not die when we go to the deal with the devil. And of course, there are deals with the devil that you can take without dying, even though it costs us all our HP. But there's no point running in that risk, right? There's no point using up the uh, Joker card on the possibility. Yeah, don't forget about more of the void. On the possibility that we can take a deal with the devil that doesn't kill us. So we're going to be going nice and quickly now. I expect we will be able to do boss rush. Of course, there's no opportunity to do hush because the uh, the run officially ends at Mom's heart. But uh, a bit sad we didn't get any bombs as well. But okay, I think we got the best best out of that floor. The first floor that we did, first couple of floors, we didn't really make the best of. Mostly as a result of our um, attempts to use the D6 correctly. But I think this time around we have excelled to some extent. We've made up for it, certainly. The soul is going to push a lot of incoming shots away, which kind of makes it a shame we're not doing hush. Um, but... Okay, it's not champion. Um, yeah, 
Hus fight is made somewhat easier by having the soul because the soul deflects so many bullets. I'm trying to use more of the void as much as possible in order to try and get as many black hearts as possible in order to get as many deals with the devil as possible in order to get as much of an advantage as possible. Just dropping spirit hearts at random is also fine. Thank you for that. Walking in the direction I want to walk in is the main problem I have with using the controller, but I feel like I'm doing okay. And I have kept hold of Hookworm, and it's not entirely because I can't remember how to drop it. It is to some extent because it's kind of fun. It's interesting, isn't it? It's entertaining. That thing didn't even get to create uh, a joker, a douchebag, an arsehole. I'm kind of looking for anything that could give us a, an advantage. <laughs> in terms of, like, there's so many golden chests. Oh, that's two. We've only got one key. Oh, great. The first fucking black heart that drops. Cannot reach. Well, I guess we hope for... Oh, and a key. A key in here. There is a key, but I'm going to spend the money on restock first, because it could give us a key. Rules card tells Rules us about card. draw cab. That's a seed, by the way, if you want to try that. Uh, we get two bombs, which is also pretty nice. And a pill. I won't take the pill. Paralysis. Well, at least we know. Now we only need a couple of extra cents in order to be able to buy the key that will get us into the item room. Or we could go into there. I don't think it's really that good of an idea to go into the arcade because it will cost us our only penny to do so. And the problem with that is that then we won't be able to buy that key and get into the item room. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, we'll fight the boss. It might give us some money. Also, we can re-roll. Again, you can see uh, the soul just pushing back all those shots. Yeah, bring it on. And actually, Hookworm is certainly helping with Deadeye. We will take this. And I'm happy to try and take a deal with the devil, so we'll do that. Okie dokie. Um, I think I will take Death's Touch and leaves Mom's Knife. Leave Mom's Knife. Mom's Knife is usually a disadvantage for me, as you all well know. And Death's Touch is always an amazing advantage. So, I think whilst I'm using the controller, putting myself at the disadvantage that Mom's Knife represents for me, personally. I mean, it is a great item, don't get me wrong. But, of course, we can't take it. We didn't have enough HP. And therefore, given the choice of the two, Death's Touch is definitely the right answer. I'm O. So, we've got ourselves a key, so we want to go this way. We don't need to... <laughs> troll game is troll. We don't need to buy one, um, which is nice, because we can't. Or we might be able to now. Yes, we can buy one. I'm actually think I think I will. I will buy a key, but I won't use it on this floor. I'm going for sort of the the got the Gungeon meta here, where you <sighs> Sipicac. We have to. It's Sipicac. To hell with it. Now we don't need bombs ever again. I'm gonna buy the key, and yeah, like I said, Gungeon meta where you buy cheap things to help you with the next floor because it's going to be more expensive in future. But I'm going to drop... Uh, I'm going to press control because it's the only way I know how. Does it work? No. This one? Uh, this one? I genuinely can't remember how to drop stuff. In that case, we are not going to drop hookworm and it's going to be hilarious until we find another trinket. Fun. Why did I take Ipecac when there was a re-roll room? I don't know if it was the right option. I don't know if I should have. This could be a terrible, terrible idea. Ipecac, Hookworm. I mean, Death's Touch is helpful. Maybe. But we can't charge up more of the Void easily now. It's a big shame. It's going to hit us a lot. Oh, shit. Don't kill yourself with Ipecac. Good. That Troll Bomb just came out of no... Oh, it must have come out of a chest. Okay. I, like, I thought that troll bomb was one of the waves, so I was happy to have done, you know, three waves, but it wasn't. <laughs> Infested is okay, and paralysis is not what we're looking for. Well, just don't get hit by uh, Roth here <laughs> at all, if you can avoid it. Something killed Roth. A spider, I think. One spider seems to have just ended that for us. Two of spades we will hang on to, because we don't need to use it yet, and currently it gives us <clears throat> essentially zero value. It's currently at its least valuable when we've got one... Uh, one key there, so we definitely want to have two keys <clears throat> before we do that. Now, if I'd remember that I was using more of the void to such a huge um, extent, I probably would have 
re-roll Dipikak. But I am a fool. I wanted to see what would happen. How do I drop stuff? I made a, I made a little circle there by accident. Which is annoying because I then tried to create one but I couldn't because it wouldn't let me. We're, we're doing okay. Don't get caught on this room by the way. It's dead easy to do. Um, to accidentally... Don't walk into the corners. You can't... But you look at the room and you go, oh, I'm going to run away. Uh, you can't run away. Two spirit hearts here is excellent indeed. No secret room there, I'm fairly sure. Sad bombs, I mean... Doesn't synergize with Ipecac, so that makes me sad. It makes me sad panda. And of course we've got Curse of the Blind, so we honestly don't know whether we want to re-roll mo re most things. So stand in the middle of this room when you've got Hookworm. It's not this. Do I press? Do I press? Do I press? Both? I, I don't know. <laughs> I might have to Google this because this is uh, screwing with me and I can't actually... No. Please, Chrome, where are you? There you are. Isaac, controller, drop. How do you drop trinkets? The left control key, use the right trigger. Which is my right? Left, right, okay, this one. Haha! -ha! Right, now we at least be able to have some control over whether we hit things or not. Or hit things or ourselves with uh, Ipecac. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't take Ipecac and more of the void. I was trying to charge up more of the void, but I didn't realise that my shot was going to explode in my face. Well, <sighs> this game is just learning after learning after learning. So I now have experience in what happens if you have more of the void and Ipecac. You re-roll Ipecac. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.